Here you have three of the four mod series of fixtures. First of all, we have the mod QA60. This is a quad LED featuring red, green, blue, and amber. And you have four 15 watt LEDs for a total of 60 watts. Next up, we have the QW100, which is red, green, blue, and white. There are seven 15 watt LEDs for a total of 105 watts. And of course, the Hex 100, where you have your Hex LEDs, red, green, blue, amber, white, plus UV, seven LEDs, 15 watts apiece for a total of 105 watts. White casings are also available. They are on the way. I don't have mine yet, but as soon as I get them, I'll show you how they work. You can basically turn these lights from black to white very easily without having multiple fixtures. Now the reason they call them the mod pars is because they are modular. First of all, you have a sliding case which gives you a snoot and allows you to create a tighter beam angle. Now your beam angle is 17 degrees, but they do come with filters that allow you to do 20, 40, and 60 degrees. And they're very easy to put on. You just take the lens off the front, the thumb screws, and pop the filter on, and you change your beam angle. They also have collapse proof yokes. Now on the back you have DMX in and out with either a three pin or a five pin. You also have power con in and out, and your menu is a professional menu where it shows you the full words or explanations as to whatever you're looking at, opposed to just an abbreviation you have to look up in a book. Okay, now that we have the technical bit out of the way, let's go ahead and have some fun and piss off the neighbors. It is about 2.30 in the morning. I have the Hex 100 on an auto. Go ahead and flip it around and see if we can wake anybody up. It's pretty bright. As you can see, that's the house behind me. Lighting up the tree. I do have the 60 degree lens on this fixture. So let's have a look at this snoot and see what it does. If you notice right here where the light is coming out, it's, you know, a relatively white beam. There's some bleed out. But if we pull the snoot up, it shades it a bit. It makes it a little less sharp around the fixture itself. See the difference? Now I'm about 12 feet away. This is what a 17 degree beam angle looks like. Now just for fun, Let's go ahead and put this 60 degree filter on there and see what happens to our beam. Wow, it just pretty much covers the whole wall. I'm washing the room at this point. You can't really tell where the hot spot is on the light anymore. These filters make a huge difference. Now these are incredibly bright. We're talking about 60 watts to 105 watts a piece. Most mobile DJs don't need this much light, but some do. These are for production, for church, for stage, but having said that a mobile DJ could absolutely use these, especially if they want fixtures to be black sometimes and white sometimes. And something else I discovered that was really cool about these, these are no joke with black light here. Check this out. Now UV may not look very bright to a lot of you until you put it on something fluorescent, then it really pops. I've got the 60 degree lens on the Hex 100 right now, and I didn't even know that curtain was fluorescent until I was playing around with this light in the living room and it just screamed at me. I thought that was pretty neat. So, you know, you could do a black light party with a pair of these and 60 degree lenses. Now the one I didn't show you is the one I don't have yet, and that's the TW100 that has seven 15 watt LEDs and it produces a cool white, doubles up on the warm white, and it gives you an amber as well. And I'm looking forward to those because as you can see, I'm really enjoying the warm white, cool white stuff. So anyway, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them for you. There you have it, the mod series or what we have so far on them. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.